Good day, intrepid inductees. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Pokemon Platinum version. It's episode number 38 of Pokemon Platinum. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out. Last time out. Okay, it really doesn't say quite what I was hoping it was going to say, but the little star probably means that last time out, last time out, we beat the Pokemon League. We got through the Elite Four, defeated the champion. It was an arduous battle at the end. I mean, not that it wasn't tricky for the other ones, but at least we were better prepared for the first four compared to the first time we attempted it. And then uh, the champion going in completely blind and kicking, well, we knew it was Cynthia, but kicking Cynthia's ass. It was a little questionable. RN Jesus gave me one bad, one bad deal with RN Jesus, you know? It's like, man, RN Jesus is a dick. That still just does this, is pushing the A button. Ah, there it goes. There, you now you know when I recorded it. Not this. Recording this on a different day because, um, well, there's the thunder. I don't know if you heard it. I've cut together the video from yesterday for part 37, but uh, massive thunderstorm, and now I'm expecting a windstorm, so it's like I can't play sweater in case, you know, if, if the power goes out and I lose the video then and the audio files and it's like well there's no save file for me to go back on so this is hedging with the save file anyway mom bought this tv as a gift it doesn't work but she bought this tv as a gift oh yeah yeah we got this scene steve barry came looking for you a while ago i don't know what it is about he was shouting about you needing to get on a ship at snow point city you know how impatient he is he was gone before i could ask anyway how's it going kid <laughs> I, I, I was gonna say, like, in all sincerity, has, has, has your mother ever said to you, how's it going, kid? Not in a friendly, joking sort of manner, but just like in a sincere, I'm checking in with you. But, okay, I guess we gotta talk to Professor Rowan as well. Oh, it's Contest Digest. Is there a skip button? No, you just gotta click through it. Barry attack? No, I guess not. Technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. Oh, no. Uh, which one's Barold's house? This one? Yeah. I dropped that at work not too long ago. I've had a lot of... A lot of... A lot of... Between this and Resi 1. I've had a lot of chances to come with... Funny Barry names, and we have uh, one guy we're dealing with work at work called Barry, and I, I said to my boss, it's like, uh, so if we heard from Barrel lately, and he just died laughing, it's like, he, I didn't think, uh, didn't think it was that funny, but my boss thought it was that funny. He's shouting something about being becoming the greatest trainer. He can't just sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Well, where's your husband? Or ex-husband? Now it's Pokemon Battle Watch. In-depth analyses of hot-blooded tra battling trainers. Battle Watch, we bring this breaking news story. While traveling to Sydney Route 207, Steve discovered a hidden Great Ball. Wow. Let's see, which one's 207? This is like 204, 5, 11, 6, 7. When would have been the last time I, last time I would have been around there would have been, what, the, um, heading to the top of Mount Coronet, Spear Pillar, Distortion World, all that run. All right. Oh yeah, that's a... Not that I want to do it yet. Let's go, oh. I could fly, but I could do this instead. It's just Starly. We, we, we got one of those. <laughs> this is a comical difference. We're not gonna do the battle, but it's just, yeah.
I think it was back to the left, right? Oh no, it's back to Verity Lakefront. Though that is a thing. Uh, didn't they say... It's like in the exact same spot, too. Didn't they say that... The... Uh, what's it called? The the three Pokemon of the lake returned whence they came? Or am I just imagining... Oh, of course. Or am I just imagining that? I was trying to turn right, but I knew as soon as it wasn't going. It's like Garchomp could probably literally eat a Badoof hole. Didn't have to chew or nothing, just swallow it whole. Here we go. Oh, it's Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Steve. You're friends with the Elder of Celestic Town, aren't you? I wouldn't say friends, I know her. I mean, I did kick her granddaughter's ass in the Pokemon League, so she's probably not a fan of me anymore. Show me it's something important to tell you. Okay, well, it's a good thing we came here, so that way we knew that we have to go see the Elder in Celestic Town as well. And it's Professor Rowan. Ah, Steve! You come to show me the progress you've made in your Pokedex. I wasn't really planning to. 206 Pokemon in Sinnoh. We've probably added a few thanks to the, uh, well, thanks to the Elite Four and Cynthia. You know, far from seeing every Pokemon there is to see in Sinnoh. Well, how many is there? Or you're not going to tell me until I actually do it. Out of curiosity, let's just check the Pokédex for a second. Uh, oh no, okay. So it ends there, Giratina. I was expecting this to... You've seen 206, so there's some gaps in the middle. I assume... Isn't it like in the last game where it doesn't... It'll only just... Man. We haven't caught all of them, but we've seen a lot of them, haven't we? Get in the zone, Magna Zone. I'm just looking to see... Pokemon of the Lakes... Oh. Manaphy evolves into something we haven't seen. Oh, there's a whole set here that we haven't seen either. I wonder... That, that would be it. Yeah, because it was 210 and we just found our missing four. Yeah. So I hasn't registered the other two legendary Pokemon that we saw along with Giratina. And it hasn't registered the Pokemon of the Lakes, either. Okay, I didn't go through the whole Pokédex, but I think it's a safe assumption they would have a high number in the Sinnoh Pokédex. Alright, Staraptor, would you kindly fly us to Celestic, which will be this blue dot there, or... That blue dot, yeah, thank you. And Barry wants us to chat with him up at Snow Point so we can hop on a boat. Over to... This bit, I assume. Battle Frontier. I think that... There's a resort area, there's a survival area, there's a flight area. So we can Battle Frontier. Oh yeah, and then there's the thing over... At the Pokemon League. We gotta go Pokemon League North as opposed to Pokemon League South. Pokemon League North, we're closest to the thing. But anyway. Yeah, we got a, we got a few things that we gotta pick up. It's like, who knows what... What's gonna be in Celestic? Oh, we got the yeah, we got the Pokemon Lakes, and we got the legendaries we gotta find, and we, we got like at least five Pokemon we gotta pick up along the way. So, so there's work to be done. Uh, no, you run around. You don't go down the middle. You have to run around the outside of the town, unless she's inside the the ruins there, but I doubt that. All right. You're the, uh, you're the elder. Well, hello, you look good. Did some research of my own since the, that spot of trouble last time. Mount Cornet's acting up had me very concerned, too. I solved the, you know, acting up at Mount Cornet. This is what I found in the shrine. It's a book. It's quite old. Let me read a bit for you. The bearer of the shining adamant orb summons Dialga to the spear pillar. 
The guardian of time will answer the call. The bearer of the shining lustrous orb summons Palkia to the spear pillar. The Pokemon that binds the spatial dimensions that will answer the call. It seems the people of long ago met both Dialga and Palkia, the Pokemon of time and space. So I assume I have to find the uh, Adamant Orb and the and the Lustrous Orb somewhere along the way. And in doing so... We'll be able to find... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Willpower, so those are the three Pokémon of the lakes. You know anything? Twinleaf Town, you say? Isn't that close to Lake Verity? They can said to be home to Mesprit, the being of emotion. And Pokemon may well be watching over you. Would you like to know more about Mesprit? Not particularly. Mesprit is the legendary Pokemon that symbolizes the emotions. Besides it are also Ooxie, the being of knowledge, and Azov, the being of willpower. These three Pokemon are said to have strong and compassionate spirits. The power of their spirits maintains the natural balance of Sinnoh. So I'm not allowed to catch them? Because they, you know, maintain the balance. So we have to find... No, that wasn't what I was looking for. Looking for menu, thank you. And then... Barry wanted to chat with us up at Snew Point. And we got the three lake fronts we can also go visit. As well, looking for Pokemon. Legendary Pokemon. Which I feel like... With my ability to catch Pokemon, those could be, you know, like their own... Episodes for each. Now it's to the... S oh, right! Right, right, right. I was gonna say to the south was Barry. But you've also got this. Temple here. Only the chosen may enter the Snow Point Temple. I'm sorry, but you'll have to leave. What the hell? Gets you chosen. I was gonna say, I won the goddamn Pokemon League. I'm a Pokemon League champion. I don't get more chosen than that. How many Hall of Famers are there in this? Um... Where is Barry, anyway? What is it you want to sail to the battle zone? It's not Barry, but it's close. I thought you would come. I'm glad I waited for you. I think it's good that our world is constantly changing. Of course, I don't want it to become the only uh, what only one person wants. A world like Cyrus envisions. No one would want that. Well, Cyrus does, so I, I don't think that's a strictly true statement. The kind of world I want to see is where everyone can share their joy. Where Pokemon and people around them can be happy for each other. I want the world to become a place where everyone is smiling. The world could be so much better if we all try to make it that way. I want you to keep traveling to many far off places. I want you to keep meeting all kinds of people in Pokemon. I came all the way here so I could uh, say that to you. You know, we did have a chat in the Hall of Fame room, you know. Their horizons will expand if you visit the fight area as well. I hope our paths cross again. Why does it have... It's an icebreaker? It's got... I see it says drills on it, so it's like, that's an interesting icebreaker. It's the only reason I could think of why it would have drills on the front. Oh, yeah. See? Hi, Barry. Oh, hey, Steve, what took you so long? I'm finding you 100 million Pokebucks. Actually, never mind, fine. Come with me, will ya? And we got walking music. Like, are all these people here to battle us? Or are we just getting a pass, or...? Uh-oh. Steve, I tried to get into the battle frontier, which happens to be right here. And these guys came along and got in my face about it. Like, they're saying they want to test me if I'm good enough and all that. Like, as if I need to prove anything. So let's team up. Like, we did it at the Spear Pillar. Let's show these guys how good we are. It's, uh, it's, uh, Flint the Fire Guy. 
and I don't know who his friend is. Is an elite four and a gym leader. Oh, is he the, uh, is he, he, his buddy, the electric guy? This situation just cooks. The drama and tension sizzles. Flint, the fiery master of fire Pokemon, is going to put you to the test. Let Flint see how hot your spirit burns. I burned your spirit twice, you red-headed little bastard. Oh, it's Volkner, the electric guy. That worries me with very having, you know, uh, water-type Pokemon. I don't know how I managed to get myself into this, but... Show me the skills that got you through the Pokemon League. I already got you once. I got your buddy twice. And I might about to make it thrice. It's Leader Volkner and Elite, Flo Elite Four Flint. A Luxray and a Houndoom. Oh. Shit. Well, that was fortunate. But we're going to have to think about this for a second. Dig might be the better option here. We gotta, gotta get rid of Luxray because it's gonna be going after Barry Star Raptor, so we gotta be careful. Hey, smart play, Barry. I didn't think you were capable of that. I thought you were gonna go flying move into the electric Pokemon. I thought, oh god, what? I was expecting him to do that. I was expecting him to make the smart move and take the close combat into the ha into the dark type. The AI's finally gotten smart at the end. Oh, hey! Garchomp levels up to 56. So, decent stat boost. Ice Fang? Wow. They, they were gunning for me? It's a Mag Mortar. I'm gonna dig up against the Luxray just right through the bastard. And here comes the question. Oh, we got a crit. Oh, goddamn time we got a crit on something. Never get crits. Still get 2300 XP on that. Star after you turned. Not very effective. What type of maneuvers a U turn? Man. It seems like there's a lot of stuff happening around me. It's super effective. A lot of shit just happened and I'm very confused. Does Empoleon have a... Like, it's... It's... it's water, right? What the hell did Meg Mortar just use that... No, or is it Electivire that you made a move? Or I'm... It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I swear to God, I haven't been drinking yet. Although maybe I would, or maybe I should, because then I'd be able to wrap my head around what's happening, you know? Alright. Um, I'm thinking now's the time for a Gastrodon switch. Brick break. Oh, you got a steel kicker then? That would be the logical outcome. That's what we we're going for. Uh oh, Snorlax is coming up, but that thing, somebody's got a brick break somewhere in here. You know what? I don't care. Hit it. Electivire's got the Brick Break. <laughs> I'm gonna have to solo this. Barry's already through three Pokemon. Oh, the crit, the super effective. Oh, that hurts. That hurts, Barry. Oh, and it's about to Solar Beam me too. Well, sons of bitches. Let's hope this gets through. Uh. 
That's a super effective. Let's hope that gets through it, because I've tut I've oh Bastard. Alright. Alright, we gotta make a switch. Alright. Who can stand up to? Grass fire, okay. Other grass. Grass poison. Flying. Really? Bug. Dragon, but there's the ground that's... And steel. Uh, Star Raptor? Not where I was initially planning on going, but... That helps a bit. Brick break. Uh, it's normal damage against... Okay, I just assume because... Okay. Wow, that was bright. I mean, solar beam. But it, that'll be half. It'll hurt because it's, you know, solar beam. It's not a... We're gonna close combat something. Please be enough. There we go. Very helped. <laughs> We have to use three Pokemon on that? Okay. There's a Jolteon coming in. Hell yeah. Maybe close combat the Jolteon. Okay, it's faster than me. I th I'm surprised, actually. I'm legitimately surprised that it sped me. A lot of off, off type moves. So that, oh, almost got the jolty on. So let's go back to Gastrodon. So the Mag Mortar still got to, I don't care. So he's going after Heracross, because that wouldn't affect me. Yeah. That'll probably melt the Heracross because of the special defense down. So the Heracross is down. The Flamethrower is going to do quarter efficacy. It'll still hurt. A lot. Oh, because of the crit. Uh, it was Jolteon, that was, yeah. Neutralized by the ground, and we'll see if we can get through the Mag Mortar. Yes! Put it on the board, yes! So that's down two, and hey, the Shell Bell's coming in. So what's next? Gastrodon levels up to 57, that's what's next. And Garchomp got, uh, oh, uh, probably from the, from the Mag Mortar. Star Raptor back in for Barry, as we have to go up against the Flareon, which is fine, because all that we've got left is, uh, is this thing, so we should be fine. Gastrodon hard carry. I mean, we've only got the one to deal with, so I don't have to work. This is Surf seems a bit overkill so we'll just... Psh, Overheat. It's trying to uh, broil itself a Star Raptor. It, in fact, did broil itself a Star Raptor. Didn't. Okay, it's gonna say it's only one. It looked like the sort of thing I could hit more than one target, right? We'll see if that's enough here. Yes. Oh, yeah, I guess we have the level advantage now. I guess I kind of missed that. And we took down not just a gym leader, but an Elite Four guy at the same time. 
Your toughness is something else we were completely overwhelmed. So was he. He's speechless. He's not a chatty guy when he doesn't get his way. Hey, don't burn out on us. Now you're just getting in the way. Ah, that was a blast. Our combination came up short, but you're also a lot tougher as well. I had a gastrodon. That made things a lot easier. Promise we'll do this again. I'll, I'll see to taking this husk home. See? I got a lot tougher, yeah? I mean... I carried you... Like... Extremely hard? Like, let's... Let's not... Lie here. I'm off to the front to What the hell? What's this all about? What the... Dad... <laughs> oh my god. It is this old man. <laughs> Is old man Palmer. My god, what the hell is happening? Huh? Ah. If it isn't very... You've grown all sturdy. And Steve, too. I haven't seen you in a long time, either. Barry, your mother told me you'd gone off to the battle zone. So I had to come running to look for you. Yep, running it is. So you're two going to take the Battle Frontier Challenge? Frontier has five facilities that are dedicated to battling. Each one has a unique set of rules, so they're all different. Of course, you have to be good to win at any of them. Anyway, I'm satisfied to see that you're both doing well. I'll go back to my usual place in the Battle Tower. I'll be looking forward to your challenge. My dad is cool, huh? I mean, when it gets right down to it. You think so too, right? He's a frontier brain after all. He's the Tower Tycoon! I want to be cool like my dad. Steve, that's the one reason I became a trainer. Oh, what am I going to do? I sh should I make the challenge now or do I train some more? I've decided I'm going to get tougher by a lot. I finally made it here. There's no need for haste now. Hey, hey, I just watched you two battle. You're something special, aren't you? Being Elite Four like that. All right, howdy. The name's Buck. You should training at the Survival Area or Stark Mountain. Tony? You should come up there. You'll get toughened up for sure. The hell is this place? I'm to in Battle Frontier ahead. Somebody want to explain the deal? The ways of the Battle Tower looms. It really is a wall that stands before every trainer. I've battled many trainers over the years. I've gained some confidence in my skills, too. But the world's a huge place. It's not easy to win in life. The Pokemon Elite's Four, or the Pokemon League's Elite Four, come here sometimes. There's no end to becoming tough. I just made that up, but it sounds kind of cool, huh? Your Pokemon are from Sinnoh, aren't they? They're not what we're used to seeing around here. Ooh. I'll take a Hondu Berry. Not a Hondo Berry, but a Hondu Berry. Ah, uh, where's a Hondo Berry? Makes it more friendly, but lowers its base. Oh. That seems... I mean, I guess... <laughs> now nah, it seems useless. Right? Because, okay, you want to make it more friendly. What's the benefit? It's a pomeg berry, no? Yes. I assume same for over here. Oh, shit, I didn't want to do that. Well, screw it. I didn't even look what it is. Poffin ingredients. Who gives a shit at that point? Uh, yeah. Where was I? Um, so we're expecting a lot of non sino Pokemon here. Is what you're saying. Now, just out of curiosity, do I have... Yeah, I have my last Ruby save file in my archived save uh, folder. 
So I just, I just wanted to check that. Uh, Mirschle. Fight area, battles galore. Um, that thought. Maybe I should just duck in here for a second. And now that we're like almost... Oh, oh god, it's those guys again. Or am I confusing them with those guys from the last game? Okay, while we're here in the fight area battling trainers and Pokemon, don't forget we're also on YouTube fighting the algorithm. So don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you're new or you're looking for more classic games. Not just Pokemon, but lots more. I, I did mention... Did I just mention Resident Evil? Yes, I did. Have that. Maybe more Resi in the fall around Halloween. And uh, comment down below while you're on your way to liking the video as well. You know, it's all stuff like, you know, that like, share, comment, subscribe stuff. It's all combating the mythical and villainous YouTube algorithm. All right, let's talk to these dolts. We're doing a feature on tough trainers in the battle zone. That's where you come in. We need you to battle us. Reporter Kinsey's live interview. This is going to be an interesting thing. Oh, oh, just one. A drift blim. Crunch. So that if it's like a drift loon, it's gonna be ghost and flying. So we'll take to the ghost and crunch our way through it. Oh, it's got a aftermath. It took out like a quarter of my health there. That's that's serious. Put us in in a Lux Ray. Will I switch my Pokemon? Yes. Gastrodon can come in for this one. I mean, I guess I could have kept Garchomp in too, but I mean. If it has Ice Fang on it, unlikely, but possible. Uh, Mud Bomb. I really want to get. Um, Earthquake, but I guess Gastron doesn't learn Earthquake naturally, so we'd have to find a, uh... Oh, scary face. Oh, it's the evil eye! Speed down? Yeah. Now, here's here's the thing I want to know. Will speed down make Luxray faster than a Gastrodon? Luxray is a naturally very slow Pokemon. Oh, there you go. Swag, that's attack up, but... Confusion. Now... Conveniently, I did go for Waterfall. Waterfall is a physical attack. Don't ask. So I actually kind of walked into the best case scenario there. Without going back to Mud Bomb, that is. Alright. The media is the victim. <laughs> uh, go back to Fox News. I go after interviews like my favorite Pokemon move, I tackle them. Of course, I don't use ta tackle in battles, though, I noticed. All right, and we've all, yeah, I already did the spiel once already. Does a camera guy do a battle as well, or...? Why not, right? It's camera guy... Tevin. That's a name. A Magneton. Now, I was able to... Mudbomb Magnetons in... Uh, in... The... Victory Road. Thank you. When I was grinding levels. So I'm assuming I can dig it. And burrowed its way underground. Mirror shot. Oops. There we go. Should go right through it. Steel and electric. It'll just melt. Down goes the Magneton. About to send in another... Magneton. Uh, yes, just demonstrate. This is what I used to do to them in Victory Road. Because he had to... 
Gastrodon is definitely coming in clutch here. I'm expecting a, a get in the zone Magnezone at some point. Oh, wow, it's actually gonna hit me with something. Well, it's not very effective. I assume that was a steel type going up against the ground type on Gastrodon. Down goes the Magneton. And we'll Shell Bell our way almost to full health, perhaps? Eh, getting there. But to send in a Mr. Mime. Okay, let's switch back. Do you want to do Luxray instead of Garchomp, or do you want to go Garchomp? What item do you have on you? Quick Claw. Okay. I, I should know that, because I keep bitching about Quick Claw not working. And what do you have? It's 169. Okay. Nice. Yeah, put Garchomp back in. It's just, it's a Mr. Mime, so it's psychic. We're just going to hit it with the crunch, right? So it's just a function of, okay, ooh, it's it with the crunch. Mr. Mime being a Gen 1 Pokemon, as you can tell by the cry. So I'm... That was a thing that happened. Down goes the Mr. Mime. And what's left? A Mach Hemp. Okay. Let's think this one through. Now. Now, now, now. The Mach Hemp. It's, it's a fighting type. Pure, straight up, unadulterated fighting type. Which leaves us flying and psychic as our options, so we'll go Star Raptor. And it's just a matter of what move do we use. You must have seen a Machamp because it wasn't missing from my um, my Pokedex. So uh, let's. I want to see how far we can get with an actually. Steve, didn't you spend all of the last episode studying your moves? Yeah, I know, I know. So fly, 90. 60, but it never misses. 120, shouldn't miss, but, well, we're in a Pokemon Center. Brave Bird. And if we don't gotta worry about, like, taking on a long run, you know, it's like, just go right through it with the Brave Bird. Which has been... Normally, I don't take moves with recoil. So, down 50. 70 is about... I was going to say... 30% recoil? Okay. Oh, yeah. Excuses. Did it match the script in your back pocket? The combination of you and your Pokemon will tear up the battle tower. You battle... That's yes, no the best range from around the world. Gather the battle zone. No. Okay. Um, yeah, I started saying. Yeah, I guess because I looked to see if I had my uh, Pokemon Ruby saves handy, and I do. So we'll have to see if I can't get this up and running. Let's see, like if I could pull over some of my my um, Pokemon Ruby Pokemon. Because I had a decent team over there as well, if you'll recall. And pull them over and just kind of make a super team to tackle, you know, this or whatever. I feel as though once you get to the end game, I think you're allowed to take a few more liberties with shit. This is the end game, right? Just in case you want to battle before I get to the TV. Sino News Net! Not to be confused with CTV Newsnet. Was it CTV Newsnet or CTV... No, CTV News 1. That's what it originally was. And when CTV, like... CBC's had News World, their news channel, for ages. And it's as long as I can remember. And, like, in the late 90s, CTV News 1 launched. Uh... 
A lot of people complain that the CBC is biased. I mean, it's just because we have so much right-leaning and right-owned, right-wing-owned, like, like, you take a look and, and you say, Steve, you're being the biased liberal. No, 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 no. Take a look at the history of, like, political endorsements, and you can see, like, post-media, sun-media, a most, except for, like, the Star and La Presse. All of our print media, all of our written media, skews conservative. And I mean, that's just, I, and it's like, there, there's, you could con call it anecdotal saying that, but I mean, it's like, come on, it's like the print media, like with the, with like two exceptions and like some independent places, like I think Hamilton and I forget who else, all, you see all their prime ministerial and electoral their electoral endorsements are, are Conservative Party or Progressive Conservative Party or Canadian Alliance. PCs and, and Canadian Alliance merged to form the Conservative Party of Canada now, so. Hey, so, yeah, sorry. But yeah, that's why it's like CBC is like, they just don't, it's like they're neutral. Like, they're, they seem left compared to like, if you look at everyone else. But they are decidedly neutral in, like, I was going to say, in a vacuum and compared to the whole world, it's like, compared, to, yeah, they're liberal compared to the majority, but they're still kind of dead center. Anyway, CTV News 1, when it launched, they had this turning desk gimmick. So anytime they changed, like, segments, oh, it's, hello, welcome to CTV News 1, here's the top news, and then they rotated the desk. So he faced, so the guy would face a different camera, I don't know why they bothered with it, but I think it might have been a green screen. It might not have been. Because, you know, I don't recall seeing much happening in the background, but they turn. <laughs> they had, I don't know if it was like a, like a, some, it was up elevated on a stage and they had a motor underneath, but like, or if it was built into the desk, but it would turn. So it was like, it was like, so you start it facing 12 o'clock and all of a sudden, here's our top stories. And they rotate it, uh, counterclockwise, or no, they rotate it clockwise to about like the, you know, one thirty, two o'clock so they can go to that camera. And then they go through a few stories and then they go to the next little segment and then they rotate it and then they spin it back around counterclockwise to about 10 o'clock and they do it to that camera and it's like, because they, and you know they're doing it because they get the, like the high view camera as well doing it. It's the most ridiculous gimmick. They dropped it after a while, but there was a, this hour's 22 minutes as Canadian satirical news show. And they, they had the, they did the gimmick where uh, Rick Mercer was the anchor, <laughs> and and the uh, fella with the, uh, they had a fella in back who was manually running and turning the thing, the thing every time they changed segments, and so it's like every time they did a story, you'd rotate, rotate, and then at one point the guy's running behind. <laughs> and just running and running and running and spinning the desk out of control and and Rick grabs the barf bag and hurls into it it's... at that point they killed CTV News 1's desk gimmick with one satirical gag anyway it's Sino News that turn the and say like, should I rotate this should I rotate this whole thing to the two o'clock, so that way it feels like CTV Newsnet. So, new, oh, oh, uh, it's just to plug the union room. Even from here, we could see the peak of Mount Coronet. Most people didn't notice what happened up there, but I did. Don't know what took place exactly or anything like that. I saved the day, that's what happened. Everyone's fanatical about battling here. People are people. And I, me, I don't like to be compared. Battling with other people reveals things about yourself sometimes, too. That's why you should check out the Global Terminal in Jubilife City. Did we, did we go to a Global Terminal in Jubilife? Because of the volcano lying around here is craggy. The rough terrain and all the ups and downs make it hard to hike. Oh, no. Am I going to need Geodude? Oh, shit. He's a door chick. Nice. I'm the item expert. I have mastering the way of items. 
Your Pokemon, do they hold items? Yes, they do. The better the item they hold, the stronger they become. There are items that are worthy of my recommendation. Care to know? Which item would you like me to describe? A Lumberry, a Focus Sash, an Expert Belt, a Life Orb, Choice Scarf, Choice Band, Choice Specs, Leftovers. I know Leftovers because I've I've seen that in speed runs on GDQ. And that's a healing item, but better than the Shell Bell. What's the Life Orb? The Life Orb! This item boosts the power of all Pokemon's moves to 130%. Nice. However, it takes 10% of... Ooh, a trade-off. What's a Lumberry? Instantly heals status problems. Sleep paralysis. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Focus Sash. We've seen those, though. Prevent a Pokemon with full HP from one... Okay. I thought it was a different thing. Not the Expert Belt. Boost the power of a super effective move to 120%. So a super effective move would be okay. So twenty, so it would be twenty percent on top of the two X or four X, or with stab, three or six X, and it adds on top. So, I mean, it could make a difference between a win and just a solid hit. Choice scarf. This whole I'm boost the speed of the Pokemon to one hundred fifty percent. Hey, Luxray. I'll only allow one move to be used. Why one move? What does it do? Like, does it force you to switch out, or does it kill you, or... Does it, like, use all the power points? The choice banned. This item boosts the attack stat of the Pokemon to 150%. No effect on the special attack stat. Make no mistake of it. So for someone like, um... For uh, Garchomp, that would be... Uh, very fortuitous. 150% on physical attack would be perfect. Choice specs, I assume, is an accuracy thing. Oh, special attack? Okay, to 150%. No effect on the attack stat. So someone who... You know, someone like, um... I'd say Roserade, who is entirely dependent on... Roserade's a, um... I talked to you, right? They only used to used to track only the hardiest of trainers. Their place for they were considered center of gathering a place like this. It's hard to believe how much it changed since then. Places like Fight Area and Survival Area just seem to spring up overnight. He was one of those early eccentrics who were around during those early days of the battle zone. I was too. Yeah, so uh someone Oh yeah, we, we talked to you. Uh, we did both of these. And... So what's off in this direction? Route 230. Looks like a twin battle. Tandem dueling. Oh, yeah. You don't want to deal with me. Now two Kelpsy berries. Okay, oh. More friendly lowers base attack stat. This seems useless. No, because it seems useless. Okay, we'll bother two. What the hell? Maybe we'll have three when it's all done. What's this? A Greppa Berry? Oh, it's only one. Well, let's see if it's any good. Uh, Greppa. Are all these berries actually useless? Often in green, it's all horse shit. Hi. Howdy, trainer. You have a Pokedex, do you? Here's my advice. Go out and challenge other trainers. They'll often have different Pokemon, so your Pokedex should fill up fast. Hold right there, trainer. If you're in a fight area, you've got to visit the Battle Frontier. You don't earn experience points, and your Pokedex isn't updated there. It's placed solely for trainers to hone their skills. Are there any items around here? Wrong way. Oh yeah, I've got an egg. Listen, I'm doing him an egg. So it's 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 locking me into doing the 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 battle thing. Oh yeah, because you're not even gonna you're not gonna let me through. You're gonna say the same thing, stay in the battle area. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. So they're trying to keep me pinned in here. Now what do you have? Balls, potions. Yeah, we need those. I don't think I need too many more of these though. I'm good there. Revives? Ah, 17. I shouldn't need too many more than that. But like I said, you can't get a max revive. It would've been nice. I had to burn one in the last episode. But yeah, okay. I I was hoping I could call this area the Battle Frontier, but I guess not yet. We'll we'll call the next episode Battle Frontier though. Because next time out, next time out, we'll uh, go into the uh, battle area here. Battle Frontier thing. And, uh, yeah, that sounds like a good, well, it doesn't sound like a good time. It sounds like we're going to get our ass kicked, but it allows us to progress in the game. So I'm thinking I'm calling this episode Aftermath or something like that, but... This is hopefully a note for future Steve to put in, uh, to write down when he uploads the video. Anyway... Until we see you again, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on Air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, there's plenty more Pokemon, Ruby, and Platinum in the playlists. They're on the screen in the description down below. More videos any time on the channel page. And until the next time... I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.